Alright guys, so this is going to be a video about how can you increase your frame rate to be a bit more fun. And as you can see, mine right now is just bouncing all over the goddamn place in this game. It uh, tends to hover... Oh, hold on. Slippery hill here. I'm going to break my leg. So get a compass up. I want to head that way. So, as you can see in the top right, right now it's in the 80s. It does, at times, drop down to 45 for me, which is just unmanageable. In a, in a game like this, one mistake gets you killed, and you literally lose hours of play to regrow your dinos. Which where am I at? Ooh, I can about grow right now. And the goal of this is to increase the frames per second without actually downloading any third-party applications or applying every, any new overclocks. What you see right now, I actually do have an auto clock already going. Or uh, auto clock, an overclock. As you can see here. This is going to be applied both before and after what we do in this video. And uh, the game settings itself aren't going to be changed either. V-Sync is off. Frame rate is not being limited. I'm at uh, 4K with everything set to cinematic. Can't wait to grow. And uh, right now I'm in a calm area, so this is actually... Oop, there's a starter right there. This is actually pretty much as good as the frame rate's going to get. I could go into like a more open area with less trees and less for the GPU to render out, but that's not going to be where everyone is. And you need to have good frames for when you're in a fight, and it's just... It keeps you alive. It keeps you alive, and it's a lot less annoying to deal with. Something's over there. But anyway, let me safe log out of this, and we're going to try a few things to up it up. I need food and water. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be cut in half when I can grow. So let me skip through this logout timer, and I'll be right back on the main desktop. Okay, back on the desktop here. So what we're going to do first, I closed out of that so I can show you how to click into it, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to get to NVIDIA control panel. So first thing we're going to do is the NVIDIA control panel. Let me get my little notepad up on my other monitor here. Okay. So, click into control panel. Why is that so small? That's not what she said. Anyway, so first things first, we're going to go to image here. We're going to change this to prefer emphasis on performance. So if you're unbalanced, switch it to performance. Uh, resolution, this is the refresh rate of the main monitor that you're gaming on. And if you have a second monitor, I don't know why this matters for me, but right now it's at 23. And you would think it would uh, free up more resources for the game, but... I don't know, maybe it doesn't like the difference in the re refresh rates between two monitors, but I find that if I go to 60, it, for some reason, it gives me a good, like, extra 20 FPS in the games itself. So we're going to apply that. Okay. Save that. Back out of here. Okay, next we're going to change some settings in the game file itself. Now this is a Steam game. So if you go here, this is just like a, a Steam application shortcut. You can't actually change the settings itself. So for that, we want to go to the game file itself. So open it up for Steam. Go to C drive, Steam, Steam apps, common. The game I was playing was the aisle. Now for this game in particular, there's actually two startup apps. So we're going to change the settings of both of them just to be safe. So open this up. Compatibility. We want to run this in compatibility mode for whatever uh, version of Windows it likes. This game likes Windows 8, so we're going to do that. Disable full screen optimizations and run as administrator. Apply. Close. Let me get that to the second one in here. Same settings. So compatibility, Windows 8. There we go. Close. Okay. Next, we're going to deal with the Windows graphics settings. So, 
graphic settings. I'm gonna turn on, on, on hardware acceleration, and then we're gonna add the apps itself into this little list here. So that's one. We're gonna change this to high performance. Don't even give Windows the option. So back. And the second one. Options, high performance, save. Okay, back out of that. Now the next one can be a little bit more time consuming. So basically we want to have Windows give CPU priority to those applications. For example, if I go in here, details, and say I click on the LED control, go to priority, see how it's set to normal? We want it to be set to high. Now I could set them to high in this list, but the problem with that is when the app closes and you start it up again, it's back to normal. So you'd have to do that every time, or you can add it to the registry editor. So open this up. I'm going to show you the guys the route here to take. Okay. So first you go to local machine, software, Microsoft, scroll down. I think the next one is Windows NT, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Windows NT. Current version. Scroll down. We're going to go to image file execution options. Going to right click on that. Start up a key. Now we want to put in the exact names of the exe files for this game. So let me bring that back up again. Look at it as type it because it needs to look exact, or otherwise it does not function. So, Steam, Apps, Common, How. Uh, first one's easy. Oop. Okay. So, rename. Isle.exe. Okay. Close that. Now we're going to add a new key to that. Capitals do count, so the next folder is going to be called Perf Options with a capital P and a capital O. Enter on that. There's a new key in that. I'm going to call that capital C, P U, capital P, I, R D, class. Okay. Now we're going to give that a new, I think, Ooh, forget which one is next. I think it's a 32-bit. Oh, actually I'm screwing up here. So it's not a new key here. We're going to delete that one. So that 32-bit goes under perf options. So CPU priority class. Okay, and then click into that. We're going to set that to 3. And enter that. And then since my app has 2, i got to do that a second time. So that we're going to do... How did I, what was the bun binaries? Yep, binaries. Okay. I hate how they spelled this one, but it is what it is. So rename. Client dot win sixty four. Uh, why they came up with the name like that, I do not know. Okay, another perf options. Right click, 32 bit. And that, value 3. Okay, alright, that's done. Let's back out of that. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is some people might have to do not have to do this, 
but if you go to task manager go to performance you can see hardware reserved for some reason my system's at default at uh, 85 megabytes now you don't have to go crazy with this but give it a little chunk of change so the way we change that MS config open that go to boot go to advanced options number of processors give it the max and the max memory just click max memory it doesn't give you all of that for some reason it caps out a certain amount so if it does switch it all over to you guys just do whatever you're comfortable with handing over to the system it depends on how much memory you have available to you some people have more than others so that apply okay now it's gonna make me restart the computer so let me cut the recording and I'll be right back all right I'm back and I just realized my air conditioner was buzzing that entire time <laughs> so I'm sorry if you guys were listening to that but let's see let's see how these changes worked so let's open up the aisle As you can see, got a little stutter there, still loading up. As you can see, the frame rate has decently improved. Now we're hovering at like a low 120, it's going up to 160s, 180s. Sometimes I'll hit like 240 in this game. And same as before, everything's cinematic, V Sync, smooth FPS turned off. Turn over, you can see my uh, words escaping me my overclock is still the same as before it's just now we're running quite a bit smoother and there is an annoying AI over there All right, let's see. let me see if I can actually kill that thing over there can I get it? I am so close to growing one more minute away shut up So pretty much anything over 120 FPS is basically unnecessary when the monitor caps out at 120. So even if the game's putting out the frames over that, the monitor is not going any faster than that. Let me grow! So let's see how a fight does now with this new FPS. Seriously? Come on. Another Dilo! Friend! There we go. Make me a big boy. Watch it being a dull, and I just get freaking destroyed since I'm a fresh adult. So as you can see, I'm running around, new things are rendering in, but my frames are still holding steady at the 120. Oh, this is not the lake I thought I was at. Oh, that's a very shit, 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 shit. That guy can run me down. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Are you nesting? You're nesting. You also can't really see me that well unless you... Oh, yeah, you, you can. 
Eh, I mean, unless you got Gamma cranked up, which he probably does, because most people do. Yeah, what the hell. YOLO. I'm gonna die here. This shit. Yep. Well, I died, but my frame rate's held steady. Right, so hopefully this video helps you guys out. Let me know how we do. Here, my body. Oh, there's another Dilo fighting his ass. I can't see it, but I can hear it. I hope he gets his. 